technology has been moving in a way that nothing else people have ever known. Greetings, special centurions, and welcome to Slaves of Magic. I was checking through my emails and realized that I received an email from the developers of this small little indie title announcing that they just released a version 1.3 demo of their game on Steam and advised me to check it out. So I went over to the Steam page and had a look, and honestly the game looks dope as hell. It seems to be a medieval fantasy XCOM Xenonauts type hybrid in where you manage a council or you manage a uh, rebellious group of usurpers who are trying to overthrow the tyrann tyrannical government that's been instilled by oppressors who invade from another realm using magic. Mr. Shefty Cuisine, what's up? How are you doing? Welcome back. Yes, yes, another stream already. I wanted to dive straight into this because it looks really fucking cool. So we're going to start a new game and see what it has to offer. Just before we start, though, I want to give a huge shout out to all my regular viewers and subscribers. Mr. Shefty Cuisine, everyone who joins regularly and contributes and supports and engages, leaves a comment, anyone who leaves a like. Anyone who just watches, I hugely appreciate it, guys. The channel is taking off and growing nicely. The views are going up, and I am enjoying the growth and development and uh, increase in views that we're getting. So thank you ever so much for all of your support. I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, <clears throat> let's dive in, start a new game. Hey, that's me, yeah. It is indeed. You start a new game. I was there at the start of the invasion of the capital. 
Oh, that's a bit quiet. Can you hear that okay, Mr. Chef de Cuisine, or is it quite hard to hear? Yeah. At the start of the invasion of the capital, strange purple lights. Well, what? It seems to have encountered a glitch where it's saying the same story. Oh, I don't know what just happened. Hang on. I think it glitched. Let's try again. It showed the, um, it showed this twice. There we go. It's gone. Okay. So now you should be able to choose a faction. We can choose a headquarter. Uh, there are quite a few to choose from, so we're going to be on this page reading for a little while just to see what we can get. It's loud, is it? Okay, good. So Zephyr seem to be archers by the looks of things. Oh, they get assassins. Deep mush. Whoa, look at the side against Zweihanders. Should we go for them? I like the idea of getting Zweihanders. Yeah, I like the Deep Marsh. Deep Marsh sounds really cool. I like the sound of them already. Winter Bless. Oh, these guys are dual wielding axes. Oh, they're, they're, they're ranger, are they? That's a ranger. Okay. Sounds good to you. Brilliant. Thank you, Mr. Chef de Cuisine. Much appreciated. Uh, frost wall. Oh, he's a barbarian. Okay. Okay, so barbarians are kind of like, uh, what's it called? Berserkers. And then Mizumori. Mizumori! Hey, cool, they got strategists, they're a leader. And they got crossbows. Okay, I like the idea of the Zweihand just because they look cool as shit. Plus, we start with two knights and two squires. That sounds pretty powerful, and I've never played the game before, so... Um, we're just going to try them, because that sounds pretty OP. Septonium, welcome. Thank you for joining again. What's this? This is a small little indie game called Slaves of Magic. It looks like a hybrid between XCOM, Xenonauts, and a medieval fantasy strategy game which you control and developing settlement and build soldiers and take them into combat and destroy monsters with them and stuff it looks really cool it looks really grim uh, grim dark and medieval and interesting we're just choosing our faction i'm going to go with deep marsh uh, because i like the benefits and i like the idea of being a zweihander okay Gather two ether glow for analysis. Reward it by combat mission. Okay. So you go into combat and you get ether glow, I suppose, out of it. Stopping crackdown. The army is doing a sweep of the territory and they are arresting some anybody 
who have any real or perceived ties to the resistance. Combat mission escort. One of our important spies on the run. Something is interfering with our teleport attempts. So you need to escort him to safety. Okay. So what does this mean? Supportive populace plus one. Resistance base in region plus one. What does that mean? Other glow for completion one. Other glow for in time completion two. Okay. So I guess you've got a time limit on things as well. So organize team. Okay. Okay, so he's warrior. They're level three and they're warriors. These t oh, what did I just do? Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, I know what I did. Ah, okay, yeah, cool. So you want the knights in the front, and then the squires behind them. Yeah, like that. I guess something like this. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh my goodness, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Okay, place units. Objectives. Escort the VIP to the escape point. Time limit for bonus is 1 out of 10. So you've got 10 rounds to get him there in time. Scrying. Teleporting in. Oh, okay. So this is... Oh my gosh, maybe I should have read through this on offline. I didn't realise it had such an extensive tutorial. Resistance base would probably be something like another territory city that support you, I guess. Sounds about right, yeah. Yeah, so maybe like another unit. Maybe that's them there. If I just look over here, there's there's a unit there. This might be, yeah, this is, not, this is him, yeah. A friendly unit, I should imagine. Yeah. See, this is my team down here, and that's the uh, the friendly unit probably that we got from the nearby support. Uh, scrying. Okay, so let's top it. Let's start with this. My goodness. Equipment points. 46 out of 48. The amount of equipment that can be bought into a mission depends on the equipment points limit. If you are over the limit, you need to remove equipment from your units in the short term and increase the amount of smith you employ for the long term. That is cool. Scrying. Before your troops teleport in, you can scry the battlefield through a magical orb by clicking on any tile. In the beginning, you can only use it once, but later you'll have opportunities to increase this number. Okay, cool. Teleporting in. When placing units, you need to set the location and their facing direction. You can select units by clicking on their portraits or cycle through the available units by using tab, but beware, all enemies on the map will be alerted of your starting position to so make use of the initial element of surprise. Okay. Turn order. A round consists of multiple phases. Every unit has an initiative value that corresponds to a given phase. The round starts on the highest phase where units are available. The unit activation will be alternating between the two teams till every eligible unit has been activated. Then the next phase begins till no activated units remain. So strong outline can activate this phase. Weak outline can't activate this phase. No outline already activated this this round. Okay. Okay. It's probably the VIP or an assistant of sort. Yeah. It might be. That might be the person we have to try and um, escort. But where's the escape point? Here. Yeah, that looks like an escape point. Yeah. So that's an escape point there. So we have to escort him here. So we're just going to scry in the middle here. How do you scry? Here we go. Activate and scry. Okay, so there's nothing ahead of us. Nothing in this area. Should we teleport into this hut here? Or outside. How do you rotate R? No. Oh, I see, like that. Let's put him there and face him there, like that. So you face that way. 
you face this way uh, and face that way and then the two rookies can face one can go here and face inwards towards there and one can go here and face out this way like that and then we start So is this the VIP then? I don't even know. Well, this guy's got eight initiative. So I have no idea how this works. This game, I mean, works. Obviously, I'm just... Uh, this is all new to me, so let's just do some stuff and see what happens. Look around, look around. Oh, what's this? Okay, yeah, so this is the VIP. You were right, this is the VIP that we have to get to the point. Uh, you can leg it. Leg it for the point. There's a lot of reading I think I need to do, chat. <laughs> uh, teleport in, yeah. Turn order, yeah, did that. Movement. Character moves to the blue line, they'll cost one action point further than two. If you're not satisfied with the path calculated, you can set a partial path by holding down the shift key. Okay. If you want to set your facing movement after movement, you need to turn on movement rotation on the right side of the skill bar. What? Right side of the skill bar, this. Is that what it means? Toggle facing while moving. Yes, yeah, that's what I want. Good, okay. Yeah, got it. All right, and then the rest of them. Uh, yeah, action points. You can see how many remaining actions a unit has on their profile. Every unit can spend two action points per round. Okay, I see. Yeah, no problem. You can see the enemy walking distance if you hover over it with your mouse while not having any units selected. Distraction causes units to lose initiative by the counter amount till their next activation. Every hit attack causes plus one distraction and every critical hit causes plus two. Oh, distraction, is that the number? Yeah. So the number there, or the number next to their health bar is distraction. Okay. Multi attack penalty. A unit can spend both its actions to attack. In this case, every attack after the first hit will receive a minus 40 attack penalty. So you've got less chance of hitting with each attack. Damage. The damage a unit takes depends on its armor and the hit type. For a standard hit, you need to roll under the final attack value after modifiers. If the roll is under the threshold by 50, it will be a critical hit, adding plus 3 damage to the attack. Then the damage will be lowered by the target armor value to a minimum of 1 damage. Okay. Cornering. In case of a successful melee attack, the attacker pushes the attacked out of their tile and takes their place. If the target can't be pushed out, for example, because there is a wall or obstacle behind it, then the attacker receives a 20 attack bonus. Okay, so you want to push them into stuff as well. That's cool. Successful hit attacks can still be blocked by shields. This is governed by the shield block stat, which represents the percentage chance to block. After a successful block, the target shield will be damaged instead of the target. Shields can be destroyed and flank attacks can't be blocked. Cool, so you can destroy shields. Good to know. You can always retreat if the situation becomes untenable by using the teleport home command, but the teleporting itself will only happen at the end of the round, so plan accordingly. Okay. Leveling up. When a unit levels up, it increases both their range and melee attack by 5 and their melee defense by 5. In addition, a new skill slot opens up, which can be filled with a new skill. A skill always belongs to a school. Universal skills do not count towards your school type limit and can be replaced by another skill in the barracks. Etherglow. Etherglow is a resource that can only be gathered by successfully completing missions. There is a bonus if the mission is completed swiftly. New units can be recruited in the barracks scene under the recruit tab. The recruitment list will be refreshed at the start of every month. 
The amount of recruits and their level depends on the recruits per month resource. For every 10 recruits per month, the recruits level is increased by 1. Cool. Demo objective. In this demo, you can try out the campaign of the game for, for three in-game months. At the start of the fourth month, the Resistance will be attacked by, uh, with overwhelming force as the final mission for the demo. Try to prepare, prepare for it as much as you can. The map is divided into six distinct regions marked with yellow borders. Every region has multiple territories inside them that share the region's characteristics. The loyalty of a territory is represented by the loyalty bar above its capital city. Oh, okay, so it's like the... Um, yeah, the different countries in XCOM that decide to opt out of the council if you don't protect them for long enough. Zero loyal austerities do not contribute gold to resistance when exposed. Yeah, resistance bases. Yeah, okay. Resistance bases. In the base, you can fill the empty rooms, which will increase the territory's various income. You can have multiple bases, but every base after the first will cost more to build, and only one can be in a region. Try to defend the territory with your bases, as you will need to evacuate them if the territory loyalty reaches zero. If you lose all your bases, you lose the campaign. When a unit is using two one-handed weapons, the multi-attack penalty is being reduced to 15. Okay. The invaders are leading their operation from their flying headquarters in the middle of the map. This was the first city conquered by them, which was then raised into the skies. Clicking on the city, you can see how dangerous they think the resistance is to them, plus their supply and research level. Their army's chosen missions are influenced by these values. In addition, clicking on the intel button will bring up detailed information about every unit they field. The orbs on top of the armies represent the army's quality. Oh, okay, I see. Which influences the units on the combat mission. The enemy amount depends on the variety of factors which can be seen on the scroll. Choose your battles carefully as not all missions are worth doing, especially at the beginning. Yeah, I can imagine that. Invader bases. The invaders have built their first base. They can build their first base anywhere, but the others can only be built in territories with zero loyalty. These missions are not so sabot sabotageable as they just fly over the city with their newly built fortress base. These provide research and supply passively to the invaders every month and make sabotaging armies in the region harder. The mission reduces the invader's supply level by one. It's important to try and make sure to deny the possibility for the invaders to build more bases. Later on, the resistance might learn how to take down these fortresses, but till then, prevention is the best solution, I see. So you have to prevent them like just like you do in um, Xenonauts from building new bases. That's cool. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we're just going to follow this guy and come down this way because he needs to get to here. So, yeah. Face that way. Come and stand there and face that way. Can we rotate the map at all? You can in... Can you in Xenonauts rotate the map? I can't remember. In this, you can't seem to. You can't seem to. Let's just see. Let's check. Um, what's this? Toggle map grids. Yeah, definitely want that on. Uh, toggle unit statistics. Yes, want that on as well. Oh shit! There's an enemy right there. Where the fuck did he come from? Did anyone else see that guy appear? Was it just me? Missing him. Where the fuck did he come from? Uh settings mm, tutorials no I want the settings I suppose um no okay so I, I was wondering if there was a key binding or something Oh, well, thanks for letting us all know then, Mr. Chef de Cuisine. Good job. Oh, he came out this door, did he? 
Yeah, he came from the building. I see. I didn't notice that. I was too busy reading. Oh, I've got to move these guys and face them the wrong way and wasted their turns. And now it's this guy's turn. He can't do anything. All right, just come running up to here so you can assist next turn. Because this guy's probably about to get boshed. Sword basic attack. So yeah, attack him. Oh, he just munched him. <laughs> just fucking owned him. Good work. Excellent work. Okay, I didn't, need to, I didn't need to worry in the end. No worries. Can we loot the corpse or anything like that? Is that part of the game? Like, looting and stuff? Come over here. I don't want you going first because they'll jump out and gank you probably. Right, come here. And come to here. Come and join him. Uh, come and hide by this tree. Do 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 do. Uh, and then you can move to here. Okay, we're going to want to guard this door, obviously. Uh, and this one here, we don't know if this building's clear or not yet. I think it is, but. We don't know if this way is clear. Like down over here? Yeah, it seems to be. Okay. Okay, you can come and guard this door. Mm, don't come behind him. That's stupid. Come here. Mm, come to here. And you're just, whoops, you're just coming. Is, is that as far as you can move? Oh, you've got no stamina left. I see. Okay, cool. Interesting. Someone's going to have to go in that building, I reckon. Uh, or we just go round it. I think we just go round. Uh, you come and, oops, you know, come and guard from this side. And then just... Forceful style. If you're on, even on missed melee attacks, you will push the target away and take its place. Add 15 bonus hit chance against corner targets. Okay. How do you skip a turn? Can you skip the turn? Oh, and turn. Oh, bollocks. Where did they come from? Form a line, man! Oh, they just fucked up my guy a bit. Alright, teach him a lesson. Teach him a lesson! You missed. Try again. Oh, that one got him. Okay, I felt all of that. Uh, can you wait or anything like that? Is there a way of waiting? Oh, rest. Oh, they can all rest. Okay, good. Oh, no, don't teleport back home. Come and just stand here. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> miss me. This guy's got, like, no health anymore. So just uh, rest. Uh, rest if you stand back. You can rest if you stand back as well. Come here. Backstab. I felt I saw a light over here, so I think some enemies just appeared over there.
Okay, relatively easy first mission. But I mean, mind you, it is just the demo. Like, I'm not expecting too much. Oh, kill all remaining enemies. Okay, cool. I'm up for that. Yeah, awesome. Let's do it. Hello, anyone in... I didn't mean to do that. I meant to open the door. Oh, well, and just turn outside the door. Uh, you can come here because you're quite injured. I don't want to lose you, obviously. So you come here and face that way. Guard the corner. The two knights are going through the building. Right, come in here. Kick the door down. Ah, nothing. I wonder where they all are then. Maybe there's one in here in this building. Like in these rooms. I doubt it though. Severely doubt it. Let's go check this room. Come look through this window. Nope. Come look through this window. Oh shit, there he is. Right, we're going to have to run and try and help this knight now. Come and bosh this guy up. <laughs> Splosh! Oh shit, this. I'm injured. What's his range? Oh, he can't get to me. Run away. I don't want this guy to die, so run for help. Run like a little bitch. You can come back and join. You can come up behind him. Hide behind the tree like a girl. They are hiding like cowards. It's because they fear us, Mr. Chef de Cuisine. They fear our power. Everyone stops for a second and just breathes. Oh, everyone, everyone chill, everyone chill just for a minute. Oh, okay, now we can kill each other. Okay, go, 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 go. Right, we can't delay, so just end your turn and come towards us. Oh, you're going to totally wreck this guy's day. Stab him into the wall. Nice. Well, that was quite easy, I have to be honest. Oh, this guy got injured, though. I got injured and he's uh, leveled up as well. The army is doing a sweep of the territory and they are arresting anybody. Yeah, yeah. Success. The consequences earn two either glow. Okay. So what am I supposed to... What do I do? Ten smiths, ten scholars, ten recruits per month, gold, other glow, loyalty overlay. Okay. Sell Everglowed for gold, 5 to 50. Okay, so this is the barracks, obviously. This is the world map. This is the barracks. Yeah, I see. These are all we have. This guy has a level. What do you mean retrain? Cool, so they get, they get like per, um, traits and stuff like that as well. Alright, let's see what this does. Exploiting advantage or forceful style. Let's go with forceful style.
uh, and this guy leveled up as well. cool it's got like backgrounds like battle brothers in it and then these are his traits This is so cool. This is awesome. Really liking this. He seems like a good hire. Five melee defense, five melee attack, and a quick knitter, and he's only 40. Let's hire him. Tired soldier. This guy's quick witted. He's sheep. And he's got increased movement speed. Yeah, let's hire him as well. Because he's got 50%. He'd be 100, basically, yeah. Can you rename them? I'm sure you can. Yeah. Done. So you can rename them, no problem. So the question is, who would you like to be, Mr. Chef de Cuisine? This guy's got a level. Oh, this guy's got two level. Oh, this was the militia guy we just hired, wasn't it? Leoric Rainwright, yeah. He's the militia we just hired, so he comes with two levels. That's awesome. Oh, the retired soldier, sorry. Yeah, plus two starting level, yeah. Health, stamina, initiative, movement speed, armor, damage, ranged attack, melee attack, melee defense, shield block, shield health, and shield armor. So you can only take... Oh. Oh. Why can you take this as well? Yeah, we'll increase the defense by 10, definitely. Cool, so he's got 35 defense. He's got 25. He's got 25. He's got 35 because we just gave him that perk. Yeah, nice. Okay. And what's this? This is blacksmith or something? Masterwork weapon creation. It'll cost, what, 100 golds? Do it. Start the project. Okay. Well, what do I do here? Is there nothing to do here? Uh-oh. Oh, dear, the game crashed. Ah! Well, it is a, like, pre-alpha demo version, so I would expect stuff like that to happen. That's a shame. Uh, I hadn't saved it, had I? Bollocks. God damn it. I could load the autosave, I suppose. But it's just going to be the same as just choosing this again. Yeah, because it was the autosave before battles. So it would just be this. That's really annoying. It crashed and I hadn't saved it, chat.
Mm. Uh, so we're gonna scry. Where is where's our guy? Where's our VIP? Can anyone see him? I can't see where our VIP is. Well, yeah, lesson learned, definitely. I didn't expect it to crash all of a sudden, obviously. But I should uh, save more frequently in these demo games. Um, yeah, where the fuck is our guy? Is he over here somewhere? Not being blind, he's just not there, isn't he? Oh, there's a rabbit there. Cool. Oh yeah, you're right. It does look like a night mission, so maybe I can't see him because it's a night mission. Let's just scry in this corner. Oh good lord. So we we can't teleport in here safely. Let's teleport in this room and hope that everything's okay. Let's teleport in here actually and hope everything's okay. No, no, nothing. We not no. Everything is okay. We're in trouble. We're in a pickle. Uh, yeah. Just come to here. You can stab this guy in the back. Oh, that'll get both of them if you swing there, right? Yeah, get both of them. Oh, beautiful work. <laughs> oh, okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. Oh, I forgot to toggle this, so everyone's just walking around now. Yeah. Right, go. You can get out there and find these others. Let's go slaughtering. Oh, it's a new mission. Thank you, Mr. Chef de Cuisine. I see. And uh, Septonium as well, you're right. Yeah, 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 you're absolutely right. To kill the two targets, Inquisitor Priest and... Yeah. I see. It's not a recruitment. So I must. I should have read that stuff. I didn't realize it would be different every single time. Okay, cool. So I should have read the introduction, really. Uh, you can hide. You can stay there for a moment. Oh, what the fuck was that? What hit me? I think this guy summoned a fireball or something. Yeah, cheers guys, much appreciated. Oh god, they're just blasting in with fireballs. This mission's way harder than the last one. Come here and stab this guy. Good stabbing. Uh, you can charge. That's fine. It's not brilliant, but come over here and double team this guy. Uh, you need to hide. Because they're obsessed with lightning bolting you or fireballing you or whatever. So come and hide in here. So these are the two priests I have to kill, evidently. So you come running up to here and get him. Uh, you can attack this guy. Good stab run forward. I don't know how we're going to kill them if they just keep moving away like this. Like, we can't even catch them. Come and lock him in. Oh, this guy can come and get him. That's lucky because he's about to die. Oh, I didn't kill him. Fuck sticks. Yeah, he died. Shit. Well, we actually lost someone this time. That sucks. 
Oh, and I don't have the energy for an attack on this guy. That's so annoying. Come over his corpse and slay his killer. Good work. Oh, you missed. You double missed. Man, this is ridiculous. This is like the fucking Earth Elemental in our Adventurer Guild all over again. Jesus, this mission's harder. Way harder. We can't catch them. They're just fucking kiting us. Right, kill him, please. Ugh, you didn't kill him. You pushed him out of the way, in fact, to stop this guy from killing him. That's really annoying. Oh, it's your turn next day. Thank goodness. Kill all remaining enemies. Well, I guess the last remaining enemy is this asshole who killed my guy who missed him. Yeah, I know. I'm getting PTSD from all this fucking slaughter. Damn, that did not go well at all compared to the first mission. Stopping tax collection. The army is looking is looting the territory in the pretext that this is an extra tax collection to repair the damages the infidels are causing. I see. Okay, so it was a different mission. Okay, let's save it. Even though we did terribly. At least we've got a save to continue with now. Yeah, I know. It's annoying that we lost those men. Just because of this crash as well. So I don't know what else you're supposed to do in the blacksmith, but fuck it, let's go to the alchemist instead. Oh, I see. This is like the science. I see. This is this is like the uh, scientists. This is like the laboratory in uh, XCOM and Xenonauts, where you have to research stuff. Yeah, let's start. The, that's 40 days. Uh, we want the communication center as quickly as possible. No, we want this so we can build other bases. Yeah, we want that as soon as possible. Okay, cool. And in this, we want new equipment. Yeah, we want that. So it's only going to cost 100. And we've got 600, so that's fine. Um, the barracks. Oh, we need to recruit more. Oh, we'll have different soldiers now as well to recruit. A knight. Thank goodness we've got some knights to recruit the ones we lost. Cautious, plus 10 melee defense, five, minus 5 melee attack. Nearsighted, that doesn't matter, I don't think. And increased movement speed. That's pretty good. He's 150, though. We don't have that much money. Lothar Cook is a tough knight. Rebelled Noble is frail. This guy's tough though and a fast learner. And he's only 80. I think we're going to hire him. A Bowyer. Five ranged attack. Fast learner. Refugee. Slow learner. Greedy. Uh, devoted. Oh, a minstrel. Devoted minstrel. Minus five max health plus one initiative. But he's got a reduced re cost modifier, so he's literally the cheapest shit. He's almost as cheap as a beggar. Or we get the beggars, which are terrible. Or another refugee. Actually, this refugee looks good. It's got reduced max health. She's got reduced max health but increased stamina. And she's cautious. She's devoted and cautious, so she's got defense. And she's only five. Let's hire her.
Oh, this guy comes with a couple of levels. It comes with A level, which is... I'm going to take Exploiting Advantage instead, yeah. End of month is 28 days. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, so it's exactly like it in which you just move forward. You just advance time. I see, I see, I see. Cool. Sell ether globes for gold. Five. So five ether glow gets you 50, does it? Or. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay. I shouldn't have sold it. I just wanted to see how much I'd get. Um, yeah, we just forward the time. Stopping tax, tax collection again. Combat mission distraction. The local resistance has uh, asked us to provide distraction till they can finish their objective. We need to ambush the army and cause enough casualties to keep the army attention on us. Enemy amount few. Supportive populace plus one. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Oh, wait. We don't have... Yeah, I forgot they're injured. <laughs> impossible. <laughs> Estimated difficulty impossible. Oh, I completely forgot that um, we need to recruit people. We need to recruit a lot more people. So I guess we'll get this knight, even though he's really expensive, because he's good. Uh, and this knight is tough, so why not? So we can fill the two who, who missed with two knights. The two that we lost with two knights, just replace them immediately like that. Boom. Organize the team. Bickety bam. Anna Glover. Oh, these guys need to level up. Before we go out, I need to level them up. Uh, exploiting advantage and self defense training, yes? I think so. So he's got 45 defense now. Just need to give him a shield and they'll be beastly. This guy's got 25. So get that and. No, we just want defense. It's the best one out of all of them. The rest of them seem a bit lame. Anyway, whatever. Let's go back and do this. Oh, they don't have even the good armor either. Jeez, are we going to get massacred? Yeah. It says it's impossible. Can we do... We can't even use the injured people. It says it's impossible. Let's just try it. If we fail... Well, if we fail, we fail. But I think what I'll do is I'll end the stream there and then start this again tomorrow afternoon and do a longer stream where we don't wipe on the first map, basically, and actually do it properly from then. This was just the first look at the demo and I didn't realize it would crash and then we, yeah, oh, we'll give it a go. If this mission goes successful, we'll carry on, but it's, it says it's impossible and I think we're probably going to die. We have to kill all enemies. All right, let's look first in, let's start over here in this hut. Okay, the hut's safe. Let's get in there. Doors down here, I didn't realize. I thought it was next to where I put the first guy. Right, let's get out there. Let's start. Oh, there is a door there. For, fu for fuck's sake. <laughs> ah, frustrating. Hmm. I didn't mean to go there. I keep forgetting to toggle that before they move. Stay as a group, men. Move fast and low. Where on earth are they? Come out and fight us, you pansies! Whoa.
Whoa, this map is bloody huge. Okay, come up here, so we're ready to go through the door. I reckon there'll be loads in there. Looks like a temple or something in there. Oh shit, where the fuck did they come from? Oh no, they're firing it fucking through the... Damn it. This guy came out of nowhere and just started fucking us. Alright, come over here and attack this guy. Uh, and kill him, please. No, that barely did anything. He just blocked it. Uh, okay, you come and attack this guy. See how this goes. Oh, good, you stabbed him. Right, come and push him into the tree. Stab him and push him into the tree. Finish him! Oh, you very nearly did. Good dodge, good dodge. Very nice dodging, men. Very nice dodging. Uh, go there. Oh, there are attacks of opportunity. Okay, good to know. So, um, you, there are zones of control. That didn't, tutorial didn't explain that at all. So, it's, it's nice to know that that is something uh, that we need to be aware of. Push him back inside. Very nice. Another one up there. Jeez, we're not going to... Oh, good dodge. No, oh, no, he got flanked and nailed. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, what's this? Three. Backstab. More likely to quit a little hit, but can be used when f can be used when flanking. Do it. Is that a crit? I don't even know. Oh, was that not a flank? I thought that was flanking him. Oh well, whatever. Mm, you can't move now, so... Yeah, you're dead. Oh my god, how many enemies are there? <laughs> no wonder it said it was impossible. We're literally outnumbered and outgunned. Uh, yeah, you die, fool! Uh, now we'll just run to here. And Why can't I not move? It's not letting me go anywhere now. Hello? Has it crashed? Has it glitched? I can't move anywhere. It's not letting me do anything anymore. It's not letting me click. I'm just going to press O. Yeah, okay. What the fuck? She got fucking wrecked. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a disaster. Oh, God, what the fuck is that? It's summoning people now. This guy's a beast, though. He's totally tanking. Oh, he took someone out with him. What a fucking chat. Oh, before he gets nailed from behind. Okay, this game is absolutely brutal. There is no pulling punches. There is no margin for error. There is, there is very, it's very unforgiving, obviously. You need to know exactly what you're doing and how to do it. So I'm going to have a lot of fun with this, I think. But I'm going to leave it there for the moment, chat. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pick this up tomorrow when I, after I've streamed more of our Adventurers Guild, um, and carry on with a longer stream in the afternoon of it, where we're gonna start a proper playthrough, I'm gonna take it seriously now that I know and understand what's going on, and, uh, we're gonna try and achieve victory in this demo. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out and watching the stream this evening, I hugely appreciate it, I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm going to be back tomorrow morning with more Our Adventurers Guild. So hopefully I'll see you there for that, guys. If not, I will see you in some other content I produce. I try and make content every single day now. So, sour till next time. Yeah, you too, Septonium. Have a great day, mate. Ciao.